Hi guys, it's uh, Dom from Soundsmith Magazine here. Shane from Disabled Entrepreneurs has asked me to do a video on how to start a magazine. You'll have to excuse the incredibly pixelated background. I'm away traveling at the moment. Uh, this is recorded on my laptop for you guys. Um, hope everyone's doing all right and uh, you're all well. Um, if you look at Soundsmith Magazine and our success over the last 10 plus years, uh, we're an online platform now. We were a print publication. We got funding to do that print publication and then we were able to take it on beyond that. Um, and do uh, some good online content and we work with uh, record companies, uh, PR agencies, bands, artists from all over the world from our headquarters in, in Yorkshire. Um, it, it does help that we are in Yorkshire, it's a USP for the music industry. We're the only publication uh, or one of the only publications covering across the north of England that helps for our funding streams. We do workshops in schools, colleges, universities. Um, and uh, we cover festivals and things and sometimes uh, a lot of the time rather uh, you know uh, institutions you know companies schools colleges universities will invest in the in the brand because uh, i'll come and do workshops with young people around journalism and entrepreneurship and and this is how we keep going now if i was going to start any uh, if i was going to say to anybody else to start their own publication i would say uh, you know look at you know look at your content you know work out your usp you know, where are you based? What are you going to be covering? We cover alternative music, arts and culture in the north of England. Um, so, you know, it's, it's something I'm very proud of. It's something I love very much. And I'm very proud to be able to have done it uh, for, for the 10 plus years I've been doing it. Um, we're very lucky. And I think that any if I was going to advise anybody else, it would be, you know, work out your USP, work out who you're going to speak to, the artists you're going to cover, if it's a music publication like ours, maybe it's fashion, maybe it's arts, who are you going to cover? Are you going to interview artists? Is it going to be written? Uh, a lot of people are responding to video and podcast these days. So we've had to adapt a lot more. We do now a lot more podcasting than um, than sort of uh, written stuff. And these are all you know reasons we're allowed to keep going. These are all reasons we're funded to do the things that we do um because you know and we're very lucky that people have invested that time and energy into us really um you know i think that yeah if, if i was advising anybody else i'd say look at your funding streams where are you going to get your funding from print magazine uh, if you want to do a print magazine by all means look for funding um but i think the best thing you can do is start up your own blog your own platform and then uh the, the, biggest, the biggest thing with the music industry and the arts industry, for example, is people just want to want to know you're going to stick around. So we started making money, you know, two or three years into our 10 plus year. You know, we, we were doing it uh, from the very beginning, plugging away for a year, a year and a half. And then when we hit our second year, uh, you know, people started investing in us because we were still around and we were providing good quality content. And now I pay writers and I provide opportunities for young people uh, to go on and, and, and do uh, have careers in journalism and, and do great things with their time. I'm very proud of that. And I would advise anybody else uh, to, to, use, to build your content. Uh, build your content on, on an online platform because it's cheap and easy to do. And then if you have this great idea, um, you, you know, for a print publication, there are funding platforms. Look at your local funding platforms first. Look at the ones in your area. Uh, because again, you might have a USP that makes you completely different to everyone else. Um, so I think that's a big thing. If you really want to do the print uh, print avenue online you know more and more people are online more and more uh, companies are looking at online investment uh, for publications so we do get advertorial we do get companies uh, coming to us to uh, to offer support and uh, maybe it's a music company maybe it's uh, you know a, a club a bar a school a college university um, and, and they all you know they do come to us and ask for you know uh, some some advertising on the site and that, that allows us to keep going um, which I'm you know again very lucky to be able to do um, and I think that, you know, that's about longevity. And I think how, how do you, so the question is, how do you keep going while you've got these, you know, uh, while you are having to work through these things, you know, you, you have maybe a, maybe a part-time job, you know, I was working as a freelance journalist, um, before I started Soundsphere working for a bunch of people and, and while Soundsphere was going and still to this day, actually, I do a lot of freelance work to make a little bit of extra money. So, you know, people, You've got to you've got to really work hard. You've got to really you know make sure that you can survive. That's the most important thing, and um, I think that's really important to be able to do. Um, so make sure you can survive. Make sure you can uh, support yourself, and um, and then yeah, go from there. Really, you know there will be people that do, you know, do support you. Your family and your friends will get behind you a lot, um, 
and, 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 and you'll have a good network there and a good starting point for what you want to do, for what you want to achieve. You know, the, the, the world is, is very much, um, you know, your oyster with regards to creative stuff, you know, starting a magazine. You know, like I say, look for the funding streams, you know, to summarise, look for the funding streams. Um, start your own platform, whether it's fashion, music, arts, start your own blog platform because that's free. Um, and then keep going with the good quality content. Collaborate as much as possible. We've collaborated with, obviously, Soundsphere. Uh, collaborated with disabled entrepreneurs or we, me and Shane formed disabled entrepreneurs uh, we've collaborated with numerous uh, numerous organizations uh, we've just done some work with the calm male suicide prevention charity you know we we do collaborate with a bunch of different um, brands and and, and and things you know we've got a lovely office at c4di in Hull and they support us as well so it's all about making connections with people so that you can you know um, you can build that support network around you and then you can build your idea you know connect with local entrepreneurs again look at your look at your network look at what you have around you um and go from there you know make those connections with regards to um you know with regards to people around you doing great things in business that you love you know if you can't afford an office space meet in coffee shops you know it's 2019 save the uh, save the uh, the office cost space by working in coffee shops that's a you know, I, I guess it's a very trendy hipster thing to do, but it, it's a good, uh, it's a good tip for saving money on office space. Um, and yeah, just, just really, you know, work hard. Make sure you have a part-time job to keep yourself going while you do it. Um, but if you have that vision and that drive uh, to achieve, then you, uh, you can, you can get anywhere. And obviously, myself, uh, hopefully, you know, that's a good example. Shane Bratby, disabled entrepreneurs, of course, another great example. We are available to speak to. We, we will speak to you. We will offer advice. You know, please do get get in touch. Uh, Soundsphermag.com. If anybody needs any advice um, on on how to on how to get going. Um, but yeah, like I say, look for funding opportunities. In the meantime, you know, in your in your local area. In the meantime, start your own blog platform to, to so that you can start creating content because a lot of people won't invest in you unless you have good content there. You know, start building relationships. Have you got a skill set to offer to young people? Have you got a skill set to offer to your community that that can be uh, paid for? Um, and then and then you know that could be part of your brand. Remember that everywhere you go as well, you are representing your brand. So whatever you do, uh, you're representing your brand. Um, and, and, and keep that and be proud of that. Remember that, you know, if you're going to start something, you may as well go, you know, go all in with it and uh, and, be, and, and be really proud of it and love it very much. You know, Soundsphere is still my dream job and I've been able to help young people go on to do, you know, uh, you know, go. they've worked with us, they've been paid by us and then they go on to work for The Guardian, The, the Independent on Sunday, Enemy and all of these, uh, you know, great platforms. So we've been very, very privileged uh, in that way to be able to support people. And uh, and we're very lucky, um, and that's that's you know that's the journey of Soundsphere. You know, I've interviewed uh, most of my heroes, uh, bands I grew up loving, uh, artists I grew up loving, and then you know we've been featured a bunch of times by people that love our work and love what we do. And if I can do it, because I'm not the most intelligent you know person in the world, I would say, you know, my 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 uh, formula is I've I've found a lot of very very talented people. Look at your mates. Look at the people around you. Who have you got that can take photos? Who have you got that can write good articles? This is just for me in, in the music industry. You know, are, are there any bands that you can get to do live showcases to promote the brand? You know, can you support any organizations like, uh, you know, Calm the Male Suicide Prevention Charity? Can you uh, build relationships that way by putting on live showcases, live music showcases like we've done? You know, can you go to conferences around disability and entrepreneurship like me and Shane have done over the years? And that's all because we've got good quality websites. We've got good quality platforms that people love. And we've, you know, we've worked with our mates who are web designers and, and, and we've built a team of people that love what we do. And that is, in essence, the reason why I'm still going is because I've got good people around me, talented people around me, and it gives me the drive to keep going. So I hope that's useful. Um, obviously, I've, I've tried to keep it as, as quick as possible. Any more questions you can ask uh, me, uh, get in touch with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all at Sounds Fear Mag. Um, and obviously, I'm available as well. Uh, get in touch with Shane if you need to, because he's got great advice. And I hope that's useful. And uh, and yeah, uh, hopefully, I'll speak to some of you guys really soon. And, and thank you very much. It's been Don from Soundsphere Magazine and uh, tips to start a new own magazine. Cheers.